This is Mr. Masonette, and in today's tutorial we are going to practice dilating objects on the coordinate plane when the center of dilation is not the origin. This problem wants us to dilate triangle ABC by a factor of 4, and we have to use negative 12 and negative 10 as the center of dilation. The first thing that we have to do is locate the center of dilation, and negative 12, negative 10 is located right here. After locating your center of dilation, you must determine its distance to each of the three points of triangle ABC. Let's start by finding the distance of the center of dilation to point A. We would have to move 2 to the right in the x direction and 2 up in the y direction to get to point A. We would consider this distance a scale factor of 1, and we have to dilate this triangle by a factor of 4. So all we really have to do is repeat the process of going over 2 and up 2 four times. So over 2 and up 2 is one time. Over 2 and up 2, that's a second time. Over 2 and up 2 is a third time. Over 2 and up 2 is our fourth time. So this point right here will be the new location of point A. Next, let's figure out the distance of the center of dilation to point B. We would have to move 2 to the right in the x direction, and we would have to move 5 up in the y direction. So if we go over 2 and up 5, we just have to repeat this process a total of 4 times. So we already went over 2, up 5 one time. Over 2, up 5 would be a second time. Over 2, up 5 is a third time or a factor of 3 and over 2 up 5 would put us right here at this location or at negative 5 positive 10 and now we can label this point B and for point C we would have to move over 1 2 3 4 5 in the x direction and 2 in the y direction so let's move over 5 more 1 2 3 4 5 up 2, over 5, up 2, and over 5 once again, and up 2 more. And this will be the new location of point C. After determining the new locations of the three points of triangle ABC, you can connect those points together to form your dilated triangle. There are a couple of things that we should notice after dilating our triangle. If you take a look at line segment AC of the original triangle, the distance is 3. And if you take a look at the distance of line segment AC of the dilated triangle, we should be able to determine that this is a distance of 12. From here to here is 4, from here to here is 8, and 4 plus 8 is 12. And we should be able to see that this distance increased by a factor of 4. And the same thing should be true for line segment AB as well and BC. AB is a distance of 3, and AB of the dilated triangle is a distance of 12. Another thing that we should notice is that if we were to go back to the center of dilation and look at the distance from that point to the new point B, that will be exactly four times greater of the distance from the center to the original point B. And the same thing would be true from the center to the new point A as compared to the center to the original point A. That distance would be four times greater as well. And the same would hold true from the center dilation to point C. The distance from here all the way to here would be exactly four times greater from the center to the original point C. Let's try dilating another example. For this example, we have to use negative 12 positive 3 as the center of dilation. First, let's locate the center of dilation, which would be located right here. The next thing that we want to do is determine the distance of the center dilation to each one of the points of rectangle ABCD. Let's just start with the distance from the center to point A. We would have to move a distance of 2 in the x direction to get to point A, 
But notice we don't have to move up or down in the y direction. So what we have to do is increase this by a factor of 3. Because this distance is 2, we just have to multiply that by 3, which would be a distance of 6. So from this point, we are going to move over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this point right here will be the new location of point A. And the distance from the center of dilation to point D is a distance of 6. And we have to multiply that by a factor of 3, which would give us 18. So from here to here is 6. From here to here, 6 more. And from here to here would be a total of 18. And that is the new location of point D. Now for point B, there are two ways that we can determine where that is going to end up. One way is to notice that from the center dilation, we would have to move over 2 in the x direction and up 3. And we can just repeat that process a total of 3 times. So we could go over 2, up 3, over 2, up 3, over 2, up 3. And this is exactly where the new location of point B is going to be. Or what we could do is just say that with the original rectangle, B was exactly 3 units above A. So the new distance is going to be 3 times bigger than that distance. And 3 times 3 is 9. So what we could have done was gone back to point A, or the new location of point A, and just went 9 units above that location. So from point A here, we could go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And for point C, we can do the same thing as well. Notice that point C is a distance of 4 to the right of point B. And a factor of 3 would make that distance 12. So from point B, we can go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And plot our point right here. And now that we have determined the new location of our points, we can connect those points together to form our dilated rectangle. Let's dilate another example. We have to dilate triangle XYZ by a factor of 2. We have to use 1313 as the center of dilation. So we have to locate 1313, which is located right here. Next, we have to determine the distance from the center of dilation to each point on the triangle. Let's just start with point Y. The distance from here to here is 4 units. Notice that we are only moving in the X direction. We are not going to make any Y movements, either up or down. And because we are scaling by a factor of 2, we have to double this distance. So instead of going a distance of 4 from the center of dilation, we will move a distance of 8 which would be located right here. And that's going to be the new location of point Y. Now for point Z, we would have to move over to the right 1 in the X direction and down 4 in the Y direction. So we are going to repeat that process one more time. So let's go over 1 and down 1, 2, 3, 4. And this will be the new location of point Z. And the distance from the center of dilation to point X would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the Y direction. So let's do the same process. Let's move from X, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 down. And this will be the new location of point X. Now we can simply connect our new points to form our dilated triangle. And that is how you can dilate objects on the coordinate plane when the center of dilation is not the origin, 